Okay, here we are. It's Thursday, the 11th of January, 2018. I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Oh, there's my lower third. Doesn't it look good when it gets stuck? (laughs) The beauty of live streaming. Hang on a second. Uh, There. Yay, it's back. Fantastic stuff. Okay, there you go. (laughs) Just there somewhere. All right, bye-bye. So uh, here we are. Uh, Had some fantastic questions that I've been answering this week. Uh, We did get a bit of a a nice backlog over... uh, Uh, Christmas and New Year. Um, And yeah, it's wonderful to be answering so many audio questions. If you've got one, head to community.musicradiocreative.com. Call me on the studio hotline, leave a voicemail. Plus one if you're outside the US, 415-800-1055. Dave in Toronto would like to know, what is the notch filter effect in Adobe Audition? How and why would I use it? Yes, it's one of those strange little effects that uh, maybe they don't get used that much. Okay, one of the biggest things that Notch Filter is really good for is eliminating frequencies that should not be there. But it's also really, really good at putting in frequencies that shouldn't be there if you want to get a bit creative with audio. I'll show you how it works and how you can use it in great detail. I'm going to start recording, first of all. Hello, it's Mike here, and uh, really everything's good, although I think I might have a problem with background hum. How strange. Now, I'm just going to normalize that using my N hotkey and uh, look at this. Now, obviously, this is a nice, clean recording. It should sound good. Hello, it's Mike here, and it does. Um, but I'm going to ruin it. I'm going to start a new file. I'm going to call this hum, and I'm going to manually generate a kind of ground loop uh, hum that you might get, like that 50 hertz, 60 hertz sound. You'll know it when you hear it if you don't know what I'm talking about. I get this by going into effects, generate tones, And then what I want is something at about 50 hertz. But obviously, if I create something at 50 hertz uh, that's a sine wave. Ooh, and I'm sweeping frequencies. Let's stop that. You got that very low. Can you hear that? It's definitely there. Very low bass uh, rumble. Uh, But to make it sound more authentic, I'll change the shape of the waveform to a square like this. Whoa! (laughs) Somebody, move the power cord. What's going on? Yeah, that's a that's a nasty bass hum. Uh, I'm going to take that. That's a 50 hertz tone, my goodness me. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the amplitude of that so it's not too overpowering. Something like that. Uh, copy it and uh, mix paste it with this audio that I made. So edit, mix paste. Make sure we're, we're overlapping, mixing, not modulating. And uh, mix paste. Okay, let's listen. Hello, it's Mike here, and uh, really everything's good, although I think I might have a problem with background hum. Someone's got two cables uh, and a power cable overlying the uh, the microphone uh, cables, clearly. Okay, so effects, uh, filter and EQ, notch filter, Dave in Toronto, this one's for you. Uh, so default presets here, obviously loads of different things, but look, look at this, 50 hertz elimination. Um, so let's start off with... Uh, what should we go with? We'll, well, we'll go through all of them. Let's go with the 50 hertz in octaves and see if that makes a change. And I can look in the preview to see if it's uh, pulling things out. And it is slightly reducing the 50 hertz. Hello, it's Mike here. And uh, really everything... It's still kind of there, though. So let's go 50 hertz and lower harmonics. Try again. Hello, it's Mike here. And uh, getting slightly better. 50 hertz and harmonics removal. Hello, it's Mike... Not really. What about 50 hertz and harmonics heavy? Hello, it's Mike here. And uh, really everything's... Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch off all the harmonics here, and I'm going to focus in on this one. I'm going to notch this one right the way down at 50 hertz. Make sure that is bang on 50 hertz. Hello, it's Mike. And then I'm going to make this uh, narrow, which makes it all crikey. Hello, it's... (laughs) That's too narrow, too too wide, I would say. Hello, it's Mike here, and... So we what we can do is we can then start to introduce more of these notches and start to, to pull out some of the, the nasty frequencies. Hello, it's Mike here, and uh, really everything's good, although I think I might have a problem with background hum. Um, now what I'm going to do, because that square wave is kind of messing things up, because as you can see it covers all the frequencies, it's very, very overpowering, I'm going to go ahead and generate a new tone to see if I can show this a little bit better, uh, and I'm going to make it a sine wave. So as you can see now, in the spectral frequency, it's just around that 50 hertz area where the audio is heard, that kind of very low. And actually, let's make it more challenging. Let's make it a 60 hertz um, here. Click OK. Boom. And we got this. That's definitely a nasty hum. Let's go back, undo, 
and uh, we're going to mix paste that hum in. Mix paste it. Hello, it's Mike here, and uh, really everything. So you can hear that hum there. Now back into effects, and we're going to go back to filter and EQ notch filter, and we're going to do this for 60 hertz and octaves. And hello, it's Mike here, and uh, really everything. Bit of weird stuff going on there, but let's go to the lower harmonics. Hello, it's Mike here, and uh, really everything's good. All Sounds a little bit bouncy, doesn't it? Can you hear the bounciness? But it is kind of notching out. You have, obviously have to play uh, using the presets and your own sort of intuition to, uh, to get rid of as much as you can. But let me undo this now and show you a fun way notch filter can be used. If you've just recorded something, effects, filter, and EQ, notch filter, some really cool presets here that send you off to uh, dreamland, dreamy. Listen to this. Hello, it's Mike here, and uh, really Whoa. everything's good. <laughs> and that's just notching up um, ice cream truck. Hello, it's Mike here, and uh, really everything's good. And look in the spectral frequency down here, how those new frequencies are introduced as I speak. Totally controlled uh, by my voice speaking. Hello, it's Mike here, and uh, really everything's a minor thirds from C. Amazing stuff. Uh, weaponized dissonance. Let's try that. Hello, it's Mike here. Whoa, sorry. Sorry for deafening you. Anyway, notch filter is good for notching out annoying uh, frequencies. It's also good for notching in strange frequencies. If you're doing like a, a fairy piece of production or something in a fantasy land, uh, this could be uh, just the thing for you to try out. Uh, you can also... Um, remove DTMF tones, you know, those old phone style tones as well. Uh, so go ahead, have a play with it and have some fun with it. Uh, Dave in Toronto and others, notch filter, good for removing tiny little frequencies and uh, adding things in and making uh, your voice sound like you're in uh, a dreamland or something like that. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in today to the live stream. And remember, uh, my music radio creative presets are available for you. All you have to do is head over to mrc.fm slash presets. Uh, you also get 12 tutorial videos with them and access to a secret group where we can help you uh, to use them to the best of your ability. mrc.fm slash presets. And I'm back for Friday's show, last one of the week, tomorrow from 6 p.m. UK time.